Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to send Facebook group posts to Discord channel. So here my objective is that every time a new post is posted on my Facebook group, then automatically the same post should be shared with my team sitting on Discord. Now to do this, we'll have to integrate these two applications and we can do the same using Pabli Connect. So here my trigger will be Facebook group and my action application will be Discord. Now to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process yourself without the need of any coding skills, let's begin. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. You can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, you simply have to sign in and if you are a new user, sign up. It's not going to take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, once you reach the dashboard, on the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Click on this and this dialog box has appeared here. You have to name your workflow. You can give any random name. I'm going to name it as per my objective, which is to send Facebook group post to Discord channel. Here I'm going to click on create. And as we do that, here we have reached another window. This window has got two very important events. One is trigger. Another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. So trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the automated response of what happens in your trigger application. Let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time a payment is made, you swipe your card, then automatically you receive a response on SMS about the amount debited. How does that happen? With the help of automation. Now in such a case, your trigger is the payment gateway and your action can be any SMS sending application. Once we have understood this, let's come to our use case. So here my trigger will be Facebook group. Let's click on this. Next, we have the trigger event. So here it will be new post. Now on the right hand side, you can see it is written that this trigger will check for new data in 10 minutes, which means our trigger application is pooling based. So this workflow is going to run in every 10 minutes to fetch for new data. Now here it is written in order to use Facebook groups with Pabli Connect, you must have installed the Pabli Connect app in your Facebook group. So I already have done that. This here is the process how you have to do the same. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on connect here. And as we do that, Pabli Connect here wants to connect with Facebook Groups account. So since we are setting up this connection for the first time, here I have selected Add New Connection. And now I have already logged into my Facebook account. So I'm going to click on Connect with Facebook Groups. Now here it is saying that I have already logged into my Facebook account. So I have to continue as the same account. So yes, I'm going to continue with the same account. And as I do that here, you can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Facebook groups and Pabli Connect are now integrated. And once this is done here, we have to select the name of the group and limit of new post to be fetched on each execution. So to understand the name of the group, I'm going to take you to my Facebook account. Let's go to the various groups that I have created. So you can see these are the groups that I already have created Pabli Tech, Testing, Pabli Members, Pabli Team, etc. Now let's say that I want to work on this group which is Pebbly Tech. So here I'm going to take you back and select the group which is Pebbly Tech. Once this is done, now here we have to limit the number of posts to be fetched on each execution. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to write to and once this is done here, I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as we do that, the last post that was posted on this particular group, we have received the data of the same. So there was a picture added here. Let me show you the same. So here, this is the group. Now you can see this is a test post that was posted there and we have received the response of this particular post. This is a test post. So yes, you can see this here is the message. Now let's go back here and here I'm going to create a new post. So let's click on photo or video. Now here I'm going to send another post. Let's say this here is the picture and here I'm going to write this is the error of automation. Let's make our work easier by being smarter than ever. Now this here is the picture. I'm going to click on post. So as we do that now here you can see that this particular post has been posted. Let's go back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to click on save and send test request once again. Now here we have received 
the response according to the recent post posted so you can see there's another picture and here the target name which means the name of the group is Pabli Tech and here you can see this is the permalink URL then here we have the message so this here is the message posted so once we have received all these details I want to share the same message with my team on discord so I'm going to select my action application as discord let's click on this and the action event here will be to send channel message let's click on this click on connect so here we can see that discord and public connect are connected I have already logged into my discord account so now here we have to select the webhook URL then the message bot name bot icon etc how can we receive this webhook URL for this we have to follow these steps to get the webhook URL from your discord account so I'm going to open this link and here we have got all the details so first we have to log into our discord account open the server settings so this here is my discord account and here we have got the server settings now within the server settings we have to go to integrations and then we have to create a webhook so here I'm going to take you to integrations and now here I'm going to go to webhooks and create a new webhook. So here let's click on this. I have named it as FB group integration and here I have to select the channel. So you can see I have created different channels here. This is the channel that I have recently created which is Facebook page post. So I'm going to select this. Now once we do this here we have to save the changes. And as we do that, now I'm going to copy this webhook URL and we have to paste the same in Pabli Connect. So let's go back to Pabli Connect and this has to be pasted here. So once this is done, now here we have to enter the message. So here I'm going to write team, a new post is posted on. And now here I want to enter the name of the Facebook group. So I'm going to go to the previous step here and this here is the name of the group. So now this method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time your workflow runs it can take the new data into consideration. Had I written the same information manually in that case even when my workflow was running in real time it wouldn't have taken the new response instead it would have been stuck with the manually written data. So to avoid that we map the information. Next here I'm going to add the details. First, I need the image details. So here I'm going to write image as I take you down here. So you can see this here is the full picture URL. So I'm going to add this. And the next thing that I need is the message. So here I'm going to write message. And again, I'm going to click on this. And this here is the message. And then here I'm going to just write regards. So here I have added the details. This has to be sent to my team on Discord. Next, it is asking for the bot name and bot icon, then text to speech. Now, these fields are not required. So if you wish to add the information, you can always do that. I'm just going to leave this blank. Now, here we have the option to disable or enable and it is going to convert the text to speech. So if you wish to enable this, you can do that. I'm just going to click on disable and here I'm going to click on save and send test request. Now here we can see we have received the message according to this now this message must be posted on my group in discord let's go and check the same so here you can see this is my discord group and here we have got different workspaces within this we have created different channels and this is the channel that I have recently created which is Facebook page post now if you wish to create a new channel you just have to click on this plus tab and here you can see that yes the message has been posted here so this here is the image URL then we have the message and yes here we have the image so this means that our integration is a complete success now let's check the same in real time so I'm going to take you back to Facebook group and here I am going to add another message so this time let's say that the image that I wish to share is this and here I'm going to write test integration and click on post. Now as soon as this is posted then within 10 minutes automatically this message should be posted on my discord channel. Why 10 minutes because this particular application is polling based. Now let's wait for 10 minutes and then we are going to go back to discord and check if we have received the message there. Now let's go and take a look at Discord and yes, you can see we have received another message. So this means our integration is a complete success. Taking you back to Pabli Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. 
So here our trigger was Facebook groups where the event was new post and our action application was Discord where the event was to send channel message. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.